Today's video, Rogers and I are going to take a look at a John Deere push mower, Momentum Drive System JS36. What my neighbor told me about this one was it's hard to start and once it starts running it doesn't run smoothly, it just doesn't sound like it's running right. Go ahead and take the air filter cover off and see what we got. And as you can see, this one is full of oil, dirt, grass. Take the back of this, there's a little bit more of this motor here. Grass. I bet you this was never serviced. So this is part of the problem. I'm also going to take off the spark plug. 13th ratchet. all fouled up too. And the new spark plug is J19LM. Out and got the new air filter, part number is 491588S. We're going to take the three 8mm bolts out. Get the carburetor off, one 10mm bolt here, the other one's right back here, and then we'll pinch off the fuel line and pull the fuel line off. We'll squeeze that clamp together right there on the fuel line. And I have an old coffee can I'm going to let that fuel dump into. Take this quarter inch bolt off and then hang close line to the throttle linkages. And we're going to make sure that we remember where exactly which holes they go in. As you can see this has now, I've dropped this down. And we're going to take the throttle linkage out and that just goes right into this hole here. From here we're going to, I'm going to clean this off so none of the debris gets on the inside. And then we're going to take this bolt out and take a look at the carburetor on the inside. Good idea to have a rag around or this old coffee can because the bowl will be full of fuel if you filled it up. Taking the bottom of the bowl off, it was a 12 millimeter bolt. And it's amazing how holes that are so small will mess up your day. Uh, there's holes in the bottom of this. It's kind of hard to make out, but I'm going to blow that out and then hit it with carb cleaner. You can see the hole right there. It's a little obstructed and there's dirt and debris. I'll take the float off here and get down into the jets and clean this out. Also want to take and pay mind to the gasket seal around the bowl itself to make sure that's good. You just pull this pin out, which is being and then the float will come out and the needle jet below that and down inside is the jet itself. From here what I like to do is get the carb cleaner and it comes with an attachment. You can spray in all these little orifices and make sure that there's no obstruction. Instead of watching me spray all these holes out, there's probably three or four on each side. Make sure this is all cleaned out. Especially down in here, you'll be able to see Camera's not bringing it out that well. I get able to see all the holes that you'll spray with carb cleaner. And again, to save time, what I'll do is just tell you to reverse what we did and put it all back together, and we'll try. That filter goes in like this, and then the three holes sit down and fold it in, and we tighten the bolt. Tighten the bolt back on. Started up. Hopefully you remembered where everything went, or you could go back on this video and check. But now I'm going to start it up. After one pull, it fired right up, so it needed a carb clean out, uh, the air filler, new spark plug. If you're into small engine repair, be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Neighborhood Go-To Guy, and hit the like button below. See you next time.